What up guys? Um look what I've got to build. Oh my goodness. That's insane. That's actually scaring me a little bit. Um but I've got this to build. Um I mean I've got the bits out so far is it's a lovely kit. And it's you know, it actually looks alright on the whole mold front so far. Um Looks pretty clean, he says, and then looks a bit closer and sees all the cleanup he's got to do. So this is getting painted up. It's going to be um, it's going to be part of my three thousand point list uh, for the thirty k event in London in May, which is run by um, Greg Dan and. Um, from the Imperial Truth podcast, which I'm really looking forward to. It's going to be House Maccabius, Maccabius, um, or Maccabius, or whatever you want to call it. I don't care. I call it Maccabius. You can call it whatever you want. It's not a biggie. Um, so, yeah, I'm back. You might have watched my video on um, No Retreat. So, this is now getting ready for my next event. Um, <clears throat> I'm really looking forward to this event because. It's it's narrative <clears throat> from what I from what I gather. It's more of a narrative style event. So um, it's fifteen hundred points, and then it's three thousand points. Um, I think there's three three thousand point games and two fifteen hundred point games, if I'm if I remember correctly. And uh, yeah, the quickest way for me to get another five hundred points in my um, word bearers list, which did okay i'd say i definitely want to do some tweaks to it but is to basically stick a nice big fat lord of war in and um i don't want to use um Lorgar because it's just more magic and i think the one thing i, I really like my army it was good i enjoyed it it didn't the, the the psychic phase didn't always work for me i think i might have said that previously but so i was like oh don't put another lord of war in there's loads more magic -y phases just keep to what you've got um Probably not going to tweak. I might tweak a little bit. I might take out a couple of units just to get a bit more kind of like um, <clears throat> melt bombs and uh, artificial armor and stuff just to help me out. But we'll see. But this is going to be this is going to be my five hundred, and I want this to be well painted. So I thought I would do a little sort of you know video on me painting it or me building it. So I will crack on, and then we'll come back and we'll take a look at it. Hey guys, so first bits out. These are all the bits for the legs and feet. So I'll take you through it. Some mess in the background. This is my uh, Guy Gore foul hand stuff that's left. I had to get it done. I was like, I'd let everyone down and hadn't done it, and I just really needed to do something. It was, I don't know, wolfy. So anyway, here we go. Page one. These um, these new. Uh, instructions from Forge World are awesome compared to like the old photocopied ones. It's like guys like two different companies. Um, so anyway, we're going to go feet first, so we get a nice good base. Um, obviously, a lot of this stuff won't go on until I'm painting it or painted it. So I'm actually I'm looking at this. I'm thinking, you know what? I'm probably going to have this base done pretty quick, and then I can start to think about um, how I will kind. Of hold it together because I've got to transport this I've got to get on a train and go into London so I need to think about that but you know these parts are they're really nice and um, that's one of the feet um, this is the uh, the kind of cock and balls section others might call it the hip joints this looks really nice so a little bit of clean up on there legs this kind of reminds me of when I built my um, uh, Green stuff on my nails. Um, Titan, Night Titan. My, uh, sorry, my uh, Warhammer. Yeah, and then the toe sections. Now I, I listened. I listened to the Imperial Truth now again, and I, I vaguely remember Dan bringing up that there's a whoever built here has put put some pistons in wrong. So I, I'm glad he sort of brings that up because it means when I get to pistons, I will be paying attention. So there we go. So 
Let's see, we've got all of that there. It's my wife's hairdryer in case I need to bend anything. That's an empty bottle of water. And that's Inferno for when I need a break and to build my list. All right, back in a bit. Here we go, guys. So first part done, legs. You know, I always find when I'm building these nights that like this, this bit really defines the build but you've got to kind of like you really have to think ahead to what the rest is going to be because I find like getting a solid base <clears throat> is quite useful I've actually gone I want to go for a bit of a walking pose so you can see that this this here is like about to lift up and move forward so I wanted to try and make it a little bit dynamic um, none of the pistons are on yet I just had a chat with Greg actually on Instagram and said, "Hey, what's the advice? What's the tips?" And it, it was it was these pistons for the armor that you've got to be careful of. So um, I am going to probably have a break and then maybe come back and do them. But yeah, you've got pistons to drop in here and here, and then we've got um, these sort of pieces that hit here and here. Which then your armor panels go on as you can see in the instructions this this is quite heavily armored which is going to make it nice to paint because i've left obviously a lot of that off because it's far far easier to um paint these panels um off so i believe this is the bit that greg said he's there was, there was a bit of a mistake made with his um so yeah, I'm going to take my time and have a look at that and see what, what goes there. Um, hopefully, in position I've put everything in, they all fit nicely. I haven't gone too extreme with it, you know. Um, it's all pretty solid at the moment. We'll see how it sits when it's all together, because uh, Greg was saying it's quite top heavy. Um, and then we'll decide whether we're going to put a base on it. All right. All right, guys, a little update. Um, so legs are done. Started doing this bit. Started doing the cockpit, and realised that actually to do the cockpit, if you want to paint it and get an easier job at painting it, so let me show you here. Um, it's probably wise to spray it and paint it before carrying on with the rest. So I've got uh, the actual. Let me see that. There, there we go. And the sides of the walls. And then we've got the pilot's chair. And then we've got the other wall. So I'm just going to do a relatively quick but tidy paint job on these. And um, and then we'll crack on with building the rest of this sort of meaty carapace. Alright guys, here we go super quick paint job Let's try and get some glow effect in there just got some coming up the wall but nice and quick and really you know all we're gonna see of that is something like that through a hole anyway all right so we'll glue this side on and then we'll crack on all right guys that is day one done England just lost, lost the rugby, well done Ireland, and the UFC started. So here we are, legs are done, this is together but I haven't, I've literally just popped this on, I've got a lot of finishing to do around here, and obviously this piece won't be uh, stuck down so that pops off, but it's come together okay, pretty happy with it. Um, I've just put my um, <coughs> my other night the uh, actual post there just for size comparison. Um, I mean my that actual post I've got it down quite squat. Um, I just realised I'm missing a piece. Oh, there it is. Um, so maybe it doesn't. I don't know. Yeah, I suppose you get you get a sense of scale with it anyway. But I think the thing about the actual post is perfiron. Sorry, it is once all these plates are on. This thing is chunky, you know, it's going to be out to about here either side. 
Um, one of the things I do like about it though is on these old knights, these knee pieces are all part of the um, main leg. I think this might be as well. So you have to paint this up slightly differently, whereas on this, every single panel is different, which is great because what I tend to do is I'll spray these black and then I'll use a car spray, metallic car spray, and then I'll build that up to get really quick but decent looking metallic um, so sort of, sort of what I've done on this one um, and then you know when you've got time you can kind of add some stuff like this so I, I want to go back and do some bits here and just pick a few bits out but that was sort of all done quite quick um, for a game and you know overall it's a pretty decent paint job I think there's definitely bits I want to go and tweak Oh, it looks like it's falling apart a bit as well, so it needs a bit of love. Um, anyway, I love that thing. I'm really stoked with the, with the pose on it. But there you go. Fire on. Day one. And we've got... You probably can't see it, but... That interior. Already painted. So... You know, that feels cool. So I'm happy with that. Alright, not about day one. Day two will be, well, tomorrow, because the wife's in Iceland, so if I can just crack on with this. Um, yeah, day two, I want to get the rest of this piece done. I want to figure out this bit, the missile launcher thing, decide how I'm going to paint that, um, decide if I'm going to put all of these like little bits of detail on. Um, I've got to put these gun pieces on actually, I need to make sure I go back and do that, which just fit up in here, I'm probably going to arm it with las cannons, just because I don't really have a huge amount of firepower on my um, word bearers, so this is going to help me with a bit of firepower hopefully. Um, yeah, so day tomorrow, I think with a good day, I will have the whole thing built tomorrow, um, and then I will clear the table, and then work out um work out a painting painting sort of uh, process for it probably do the body all the metallics first get that base down and then i can just sort of take my time with all the panels all right cheers guys check back in for part two peace